Immigration remains a driver of Canada's economic growth. What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, beautiful people? How are you guys doing? Welcome back to the Canada Info Hub channel. It is me, Wolo, and I love to talk about life in Canada, immigrating to Canada, and on Saturday, I did a two hours live for the first time where I was talking for two hours non-stop. It's the first time I've done something like that. I didn't even drink water. <laughs> anyway, how are you guys doing? So today is just a short video. I just said I have to, you know, push this video out. You know, anything that has to do with news. If you don't push it out immediately, it becomes stale. So I have to push this video out immediately so that it doesn't become stale after this week. And um, if you are new to this channel, I would say thank you, welcome, and just click on the subscribe button and the notification bell. And anytime I create a video, you'll be the first to know. So I want to say thank you to everybody who joined me live on Saturday. I really appreciate you guys. Like you surprised me. I mean, the chats were just rolling, and I was finding it um, really difficult reading them until somebody actually dropped a message and told me what to do so thank you to the person who told me what to do and maybe in my next live chat i'll be able to control the questions and respond to your questions without missing out any questions accordingly i hope so and i hope to stick to one hour not two hours <laughs> i don't like talking too much okay so one more question have you destroyed the like button don't destroy the like don't scatter your phone but just give me thumbs up you know you know how we do it now just give me some thumbs up i need the thumbs up give me the thumbs up anyway um today's video is about some updates you must have seen the clip at the beginning of this video that's part of it i'll be playing the remaining part of the clip and uh, it's actually the governor general speech on immigration and every year if you don't know canada plans for immigration every year canada plans on the number of people they will take in um into canada but covid spoiled a lot of things this year we were actually expecting 350,000 permanent residents to canada this year but covid um disrupted a lot of plans although immigration still continues the express entry draws still continues provincial nomination draws are still ongoing after you watch the remaining part of the speech i'll be talking about some things that were recently updated as at yesterday and um one provincial nomination that took place last week and that is nova scotia so just watch this speech from the governor general and then i will talk about these other two updates about canada immigration with other countries rejecting global talent that could help their economy Canada has an opportunity as we recover to become the world's top destination for talent, capital, and jobs. When people choose Canada, help build Canada, and make sacrifices in support of Canada, we should make it easier for them to formally become Canadians. Earlier this year, the government announced measures to grant permanent residency to people who although not Canadian citizens, had cared for the most vulnerable in long-term care homes and other medical facilities. The government will continue to bring in newcomers and support family re reunification. We know that there is an economic and human advantage to having families together. As part of both the short-term economic recovery and of a long-term plan for growth, the government will leverage the advantage we have on immigration to keep Canada competitive on the world stage. So the first update was um, done yesterday and it's about the film and TV industry. Um, they've given them priority pass, like they've given them um, priority uh, processing of their work permit application. So anybody who is in the film industry and um tv industry if they intend to come and shoot a video or a film in canada they can apply for a work permit and they'll be given 14 days um priority processing time so you know lots of people use this opportunity to come to canada and it is under the self-employed immigration pathway so for those people if they want to become permanent resident eventually um, they can apply under the self-employed pathway 
I have talked about the self-employed pathway before. I would just request that you check the videos or I'll leave the self-employed video on the description box of this particular video. So that's number one update. The second update actually took place last week and it's a provincial nomination from Nova Scotia where they invited mechanics, auto body mechanics and the truck mechanics and all that. I think the knock code is 7321 and 7322. Those are the two knock codes that were invited. And those knock codes actually fall under the federal skilled trades. There are so many surprises when it comes to provincial nominations. And I have done several videos about provincial nominations. So before you send me an email, check them out. Anyway, if you know any mechanic, if you know any truck mechanic or auto body mechanic, anything that has to do with vehicles, and the person has an educational qualification, the person has evaluated their credentials, the person has written the IALTS exam, just tell the person to get into the pool. Although they did not mention what the comprehensive ranking score was that they used in inviting those group of people, but um, the, 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 the list or the minimum language score was actually a CLB5 because Nova Scotia actually chooses from the express entry pool. You're a mechanical engineer and you have a mechanic workshop, you work as a mechanic at the same time or having a mechanic workshop is your side hustle. You can also choose the snuck code, you know, if you're actually finding it difficult getting the highest comprehensive ranking score from the express entry pool. But as long as you have the work experience of a mechanic, you know, you can choose these two knock codes and you might likely, I'm using the word likely because it was just, it's just a new development that they were able to choose uh, this knock code in Nova Scotia. I am not sure if it's going to be something that will be continuous, you know. Nova Scotia just brought this surprise and chose this knock code during this period. So it's something you can make an attempt on and, you know, while you're waiting to get a provincial nomination, and you know you have the work experience as a mechanic i'm using the word again if you know you have the work experience as a mechanic you have enough proof extensive proof to show that you have worked as a mechanic for at least two years then you can choose this to knock good and maybe nova scotia might do it you know check the express entry pool again and give people provincial nomination so that's the update from nova scotia and um in my next video I'll actually be talking about life in Canada. I think I've talked about immigration too much. Yes, I've talked about immigration too much. I was supposed to also start my other channel where I'll be traveling around Canada, but that one is on hold for now because of another project that is coming up again. <laughs> I am having back-to-back -back projects. Once one is finishing, another one is just in the pipeline waiting to come out. That's how my life is. I'm always, I'm always planning ahead. I'm always, you know, doing projects i'm always keeping myself busy because this is canada so in my next video it's a very important video please eh i will request that you watch that particular video because i want to talk about something very important i won't tell you what it is anyway so these are the updates for today thank you so much for watching and hopefully soon i will be announcing when i will come on live again to answer your questions just share my videos now <laughs> share my videos and let this channel grow you know and i want to say thank you so much to all of you i really appreciate you guys i mean i really really do appreciate you guys and hope to see some of you all of you in canada sometime soon anytime soon thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video Bye bye